Here's a provocative one for you. Is your lover or a friend or family member stopping you from getting voiceover work? Interesting question, isn't it? Why would someone you know and trust and love stop you from getting voiceover work? It doesn't make sense, does it? But I've had so many people contact me in the past who said, uh, oh, really interested in doing voiceovers. And I've given a bit of background about what you should do, the steps you should take and so on. And they've gone, yeah, yeah, really going to do it. And then a few weeks or months later, they come back to me and say, oh, no, I decided not to do it. And when I've probed that further, the reason seems to be because friends or family or someone very close to them has said, well, do you know what? I don't think you should do it. Why are you doing that? You're wasting your time. There's too much competition. Or why would you want to do that? Who would want your voice? And you'll be amazed at how many lovers, boyfriends, girlfriends, husbands, wives, and so on, and and just friends and, and the family circle have that reaction when you say it. And that's why a lot of people doing voiceovers actually don't tell other people. They just keep shtum about it because they're rather embarrassed about it. And I quite understand that. I think that's a, it's a natural reaction. And so what I would say is, look to those people. Look, I really, really want to do this. Please don't tread on my dreams. I don't want you to. I, you know, it's, it's something I really want to do. Or at least I'd like to give it a go. Please support me in this. And you never know, they might come round to your point of view. Now, if you're lucky and you've got a really good supportive spouse or a friend or relative, whatever, who is very supportive and will really help you, then that's great. And those people are worth their weight in gold. As for the others, well, perhaps it is time to say goodbye to those people. I don't want to be accused of fueling divorce or anything like that, but by the same token, you need a cheerleader. You need someone who's going to support you through the good times and the bad in voiceovers. They're a tricky business to get into. Lots of rocky roads ahead. So, you know, if you can choose your friends carefully and choose your lovers carefully and at least trying to get them on board, I think that's, that's the main thing, the main advice, I would say. So anyway, that's uh, the end of today's uh, rather spiky uh, voiceover masterclass. Thanks very much for watching today. And of course, look after your voice.